So we are just about done with the 4.8 versus 8.1 build off. And the whole reason that we started this is because number one, I like to go fast. And number two, I like doing stuff a little bit different. And I guess third and probably the main reason why I'm even doing this comparison in the first place is because last year when I finished up my 8.1 swap in my other Silverado, you guys told me down in the comments that I could have made more power and spent less money by using the LS instead of converting to a big block. Now, I know you guys definitely meant a 5.3 or a 6.0, but I had a 4.8 Silverado and I decided I think it would be really cool to compare one of the smallest V8s that GM put into pickup trucks against one of the largest ones from the early 2000s. Yes, I know they made smaller engines and I know they made larger engines and industrial equipment and other things like that, but we're specifically talking about pickup truck engines and we're doing a 4.8 versus 8.1. Uh, the benchmark to beat was my chassis dyno figures on the 8.1, which is like 325 horsepower, 420 some pounds of torque, something like that. And we are definitely at a deficit, but we're almost ready to get the 4.8 back on the dyno. We did a cam swap, we opened up the ring gaps for boost later on, uh, valve train upgrades, and a whole bunch of other stuff. But before I start tuning it, I need some exhaust on it because right now it's open headers, it's really loud, and my neighbors, well, they definitely do not appreciate the sound as much as I do, and I know you guys would probably as well. So, I need an exhaust, I need a muffler, and I had a very specific goal on this one, and that's to achieve a unique sound. Now, when it comes to exhaust, I'm definitely a picky customer. I've built plenty of exhaust systems, and I kind of, to me, they're kind of like my signature on a build. I really like to take my time, and I like to do something different with each one. And so for this one, I'm trying something that I've never done before, and it might be counterintuitive. It might not work, but I have an idea that it might, and so we're going to try it. Um, the sound that I'm going for, you get partly from an X-pipe, and basically what an X-pipe is, it's a part of an exhaust system. It's a crossover where you have two banks kind of meet in the middle and they split out and you can kind of see where it gets its name from because it's an X. Now, in theory, this will also produce more horsepower through the scavenging effect, which is basically where you have a pulse coming down this pipe and it crosses over. And because it's open in the middle, when it crosses here, it creates a bit of a vacuum on that bank right there. And so if it's timed properly and if there's an exhaust valve open, that vacuum will actually help suck some of the exhaust gas out of that cylinder. Now, in order to make that work properly, you have to have the lengths like perfectly perfect and timed out. But most exhaust kits just have an X-pipe and in theory, they've figured that out for you. So I don't know. But anyway, that's the theory behind an X-pipe, but it also makes a really cool sound and kind of gives it a little bit higher pitch. So instead of that American, you know, big V8 sound, it gives it a little bit more of what I would call like a European sound. Now, the other part to the sound goal that I have comes from a certain muffler, and that's a Flowmaster Hush Power Pro Series muffler. And I happen to have one right here. Um, I ran this on a few other trucks and I really like the sound of it. It's a four inch straight through design and I don't even know, sorry, not straight through, it's a four inch design. Um, and it has like a conical screen kind of on one end that it comes down and then it goes out on the other. I don't know what they call it. Um, their trade name is like Laminar Flow, I think. Um, but I like how they sound. So we're going to try to run that muffler. But you'll notice there's only one of them and it's a four inch muffler. We have an X pipe with dual three inch outlets. So obviously we need to merge the two together. So enter the Y pipe. Now, this also, in theory, helps promote scavenging for the same reasons as the X-Pipe, because you have an exhaust pulse coming in this side, creates a vacuum effect here, and it'll help draw exhaust gas in from that side. But I don't know if the two of these, because they're going to be mounted sort of like that with maybe six or eight inches of straight pipe in between, I don't know if that's going to cancel each other out. I don't know if it would accentuate the effect. I have no idea. It might even, the Y-Pipe might even cancel the sound of the X-Pipe. But... This is what we have and we're gonna give it a shot. If I don't end up liking how this sounds or performs, I'll just kind of ditch this from here back and I have some different mufflers we can try, but that's what we're gonna do. So to get this on the truck, we have to do a little bit of work. This is a speed engineering X pipe and it was designed to fit speed engineering headers, which for the life of me, I don't remember now why I didn't just order the speed engineering headers. I think in the back of my mind, I thought, well, these other headers that I have are gonna fit better, but now that I've installed them and done all the work to them, I realize the speed engineering headers probably would have fit better and would have made a little bit less work, especially now that we're adapting the X-Pipe. But that's all right. Let's get to work.
All right, guys, so the way I'm going to have to do this system, because I have so many pre-made pieces like the muffler, the Y, the X, and you know the whole front midsection basically i have to kind of mock it all up at once and then tack weld it all under the truck and i have everything blocked into place and i'm going to try to kind of show you everything but bear with me because there's not a lot of room ugh, underneath the truck here so i guess i'll start at the back if my mic cord doesn't get run over by the creeper um, so that's the muffler and i have it you can maybe see the hanger way back there i have it just kind of sort of hanging in place with the transmission jack holding the weight up and that hanger was welded on a silverado of this exact era so i know the muffler's kind of where that needs to be and then i just kind of jammed the y pipe in the front although i am going to trim off probably three or four inches and because the muffler's kind of pushed back um, and i want this seam right here kind of on the y pipe to maybe line up with this clamp we'll see how that works out but i think to get it to to have the muffler come back to where it needs to be i need to shorten this one just a little bit so the x pipe is in place and just to kind of make sure i have adequate clearance i have a couple of pieces of wood here just clamped on top of the torsion bar cross member and then i have a piece of aluminum clamped onto the transmission cross member just to make sure that the pipe doesn't stick down any further than the bottom of this you know for ground clearance reasons and then this is the pipe that i just started out making this is the only welding i've done so far i just attached the short stub a three inch to the v-band so it can slip inside the little slip fit connections normally i don't like to use these but uh, because we got so many pre-made pieces that have them on there i figure this will just be a good you know it, it'll make my life easier and on this side really the last thing that i have to do is pick you can see there's three pieces there speed engineering gave us three and i think the middle one there is actually a pretty darn close fit although we'll, i will need to trim the ends just a little bit and add the v-band um, but that should be pretty simple but before i do that i actually need to get the position of the muffler finalized which means if i try to figure out a good spot to show you i want to get this pipe attached to the y first because um, this half of the y is kind of straight and this one is like kicked off at an angle or this one is parallel with the rest of the exhaust and then also the other trick is um, the torsion bar cross member right here is kind of like the high point and the floorboard this heat shield right here is like the low point so basically the exhaust goes uphill and then it has to kind of come back down or kind of level out because i can't get a single straight section to fit between there and here because it'll hit up against the floor so anyway i'll work on this piece i'm gonna have to put a little kink in it just to kind of you know make it run straight and then once i get this one finalized i can um build the second pipe here and then that'll kind of dictate the whole you know the exhaust being like centered in a straight line or whatever and then i'll just kind of come in and fill this one and that'll be pretty easy so back to work All right, so I have one of the legs tacked into the Y pipe and the other one is jammed in there nice and firm. And this is gonna be the main junction where the exhaust system separates. So the X pipe forward, that's gonna be, you know, attached to the headers with V-bands and everything will be welded together in the middle. And from here back, same thing, everything will be welded in one big section. But 
Um, these can be a little bit tricky because these two pipes have to be perfectly parallel in order to separate. And I'm using some of those flat band clamps uh, that have a really nice little profile. So as long as this kind of separates and pulls out just like that and is able to go back in, well, I'm really happy with that. I can now fully weld this Y together and put everything back into the truck. And then I think the muffler is gonna be the next thing that I tack together, but we'll see.
All right, guys, this is the finished system all tack welded together, and I only have like four joints left to finish weld. One here, one here, one in the middle, and then finally the big four-inch joint at the muffler. There's basically two halves of the system. We have the front half, and then we have the back half. And if I really hate how it sounds, all I've got to do is pop the clamps there, uh, which obviously that goes into that, and I can just pop the whole back of the system off and redesign whatever from the X-pipe bag, because no matter what, I feel like I'm going to be running an X-pipe, unless, of course, we turbocharge the truck, but then maybe we'll do twin turbos and put an X-pipe. I don't know. We probably won't do that. But anyway, that is the system, and we've got some finish welding to do. Um, I am cutting it like way, way, way close on the gas because it's like the big gauge is on zero, although we have a little bit left. You know, the tank's all the way open. So hopefully I have enough argon just to do those few joints. If not, I do have a little bit of 7525 from the MIG. I, I've never tried that on the TIG. It might work just enough to kind of get you through. Um, that might be an interesting experiment. Actually, I've never tried it. But anyway, uh, we've got a little bit of welding to do as far as a tailpipe or a turndown. I don't have anything planned right now. I'll probably just, I have like two pieces of four inch left. I've got probably just an elbow I'll put in to tip it down before the axle for now. I'm thinking actually long-term what I'll do is I'll rob the four inch tailpipe from the ugly truck because I'm redoing the rear suspension. We're going a lot lower and I don't know if I'll be able to run a tailpipe um, or if I have to redesign the tailpipe to go lower, then I'll use that tailpipe on this truck and then I'll rebuild another one. Cause I like how I ran that one. It's got a ton of ground clearance and you can't see the exhaust from the outside yet. It's full four inch front to back. So anyway, maybe I'll run that because originally the tailpipe was actually built with this muffler. So it'll definitely fit. But anyway, that is my whole exhaust system. For now, I've got some finished welding to do. Well, I had just enough argon to weld the whole system. We didn't run out. I have no idea how, but the exhaust system is fully welded. And I'm really excited to get it under the truck and hear how it's going to sound because all this business in the middle, it might be awesome or it might be a total flop. Now, if it doesn't work out, that's all right because all I've got to do is disconnect the two clamps right here and rebuild the system from here back and I'll put this on some other truck. Um, I did go ahead and paint this joint here simply because the muffler was black, the Y pipe was black, and I had a can of that um, header paint, so I just blasted that in the middle and made a nice little masking line right here. So from there up, it's stainless. From there back, it's black. And this is all like aluminized material anyway, and this is all stainless, so whatever. Uh, yeah, let's get this back on the truck and give it a start up.
the sound for everybody, but I think this is the sound for me. I've got the system back underneath. All I got to do now is put a little dump on it, and then I can hit the road and start tuning. I guess, well, after I get the electric fanning, because that's like the one thing I am waiting on. But guys, I am calling this, the exhaust, a success. So do me a favor, like and subscribe to the channel, drop a comment, let me know what you think. But as far as I'm concerned, this exhaust sounds awesome. Just take a listen.